Good evening, my brothers and sisters. I hope all is well with everybody, and I want to say God bless all you. Now, I just wanted to read Psalms 119, and I'm going to start there with a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for now and forever. Amen. Now I'm going to read Psalm 119. It's a beautiful psalm. Okay? And I'm going to start on verse 1. And it says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies, and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in <clears throat> they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. O oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking here the there too, according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought you. Or let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Deal bountifully with thy servants, that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaks for the longing that it has unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princesses also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. My soul cleaves unto the dust. Quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou heard me. Teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melts for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord. Put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproaches me, for I trust in thy word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I have hoped in thy judgments, so shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. Remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word has quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. 
I remember thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror has taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. This I have because I kept thy precepts. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto you because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear you, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear you will be glad when they see me because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right and that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. But I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear you turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. My soul faints for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servants? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help me. They had almost consumed me upon earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep thy testimony the testimony of thy mouth. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thy ordinances, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am yours, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou, through thy commandments, has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn, and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Except I beseech you the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever. For they are the rejoicing of my heart. 
I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe. And I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puts away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of thy judgments. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes feel for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for you, Lord, to work. For they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore does my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words gives light. It gives understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I long for thy commandments. Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou used to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servants, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of waters run down my eyes, because they keep not thy law. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal has consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cried with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto you, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I preventing the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. My eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw near that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved, because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endures forever. Princesses have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that finds great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation, and done thy commandments. My soul has kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come near before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word. For all thy commandments are righteousness. 
Let thy hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servants, for I do not forget thy commandments. And that's Psalm, 9, 1, that's Psalm 119, and that's the longest chapter in Psalm in the whole Bible. It's got 176 verses. And I love it because it speaks about the law of God. This is why I loved it. It's, it's telling us to keep his commandments. This is why I was reading that. And, and I'm going to go to Exodus real fast because I'm going to show you again some of, the, some of the commandments that God tells us to keep. And I got to say that <clears throat> I broke I broke them. I broke a lot of them. And I'm going to read in uh, Exodus chapter 20. And God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. And I know they're making a movie now trying to say that Jesus was a gay or lesbian or something. I'm not sure what it is, but I know they're trying to take that movie out. And this is what God is telling us. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. Which is Sunday to Friday. Saturday is the day of rest. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It is the Sabbath of the Lord our God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is, in, that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and he hallowed it. Okay? He set it apart. It's a holy day. It's the day of the Lord, and we keep it. These are his commandments. And I'm reading you the Ten Commandments. And it says, uh, verse 12, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God gives you. 13, thou shalt not kill. 14, thou shalt not commit adultery. 15, thou shalt not steal. 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Verse 17. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his man manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's, which is a donkey. 18. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they told Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Why would they say that? Because they wasn't keeping his laws and commandments. They kept falling away. All right? And this is why I was reading the commandments again. This is only some of them. There's more than that. But these right here tell us what we, sh what we should do. And if we're going to love our neighbor as ourselves and love our brothers and our sisters like God commands us to, then we won't do none of these things because we don't want to jump to us, so we have to treat them according to the way we want to be treated. Okay? That's what we do. And I just wanted to read that psalm to you today. It just was in my mind all day and it was in my heart. And I just want to tell you guys that I love you guys and God loves you. Jesus loves you. And we're living in some troublous times right now. You know, they're talking about this virus, that there's going to be a second wave and that it's going to be worse. They're saying now that since they open up the stores and the, the parks and the pools and they get ready to open some of the beaches in New York, that um, now it's getting worse and there's more people getting this virus. And they're saying that by the time the fall comes, it's going to be even worse. So people, the only thing I'm saying is, whether you believe it or not, I put my life in God's hands. And whatever's going to be is going to be. All right?
But then we pray for God's love and God's mercy. All right? And the plagues that God said will be upon the earth, there are plagues. There's a lot of things going on today. All right? But if you're with God, and you stand with God, and you follow his law, statutes, and commandments like he said to do, you're going to be fine. You're going to be under his protection. That's what I believe. I know it's true because I have been... Man, I've been like doing so many things before in the past in my life. And that's why this psalm means a lot to me. Because I used to read that psalm all the time when I was living in the wrong life. And in the, going in the wrong direction. And God, all these years, has delivered me. Little by little from it. And when I say something to you, and when I read something to you, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. And that's what I do. I don't want to be caught in sin, like going against God's commandments. Hurting anyone or anything like that. I'm just here to speak the word. That's all I want. I just want to tell you the truth. Okay, that God gave us. And that's all I'm here for. I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. But I do know that the past is the past. And we got to live for today. Okay? Nobody knows what tomorrow is going to bring. Like the Bible says, tomorrow is not promised. But we're to live today. Okay? And be good to one another. That's all you got to say. Be good to, to one another. Like, I just lost my brother in January of this year. I just lost my cousin a few days ago. But God has taught me what the pain is. And I understand it now. I lost, you know, people in, I lost people in my family. I lost good friends and everything. But I know what death is now. And you know what? No matter what happens, we know that someone dies every day just like someone is born every day. But God tells us that at the end, we can have eternal life. And he tells us that, oh, death, where is thy sting? So I'm telling you that if you believe in God and you're saved today and you and you seek him, stay with him, do not backslide, you're going to be all right. You're going to have eternal life. And anybody in our family or friends that have passed and left this earth, we will see them again. Okay? So that's what I have to say about death. Oh, death, where is thy sting? I don't like death. I don't. I don't like funerals. I don't like none of that. Because I just believe in my heart that if you're with God, I'm going to see you again. So I'm not going to let that, um, that doesn't tear my heart apart anymore. You know, I know it hurts. It hurts a lot of people. But we have to learn to deal with it. There's nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do but pray for God's mercy and his love. And that he has mercy on our families or our friends who have left this earth's soul. And we have to pray that they have been with God before they left this earth. That's all we can do, people. You know, and if people are afraid of this virus or any other plague that's coming, if, then you shouldn't have no fear. Because God said he will protect us if you're with him. If you're living in fear and you're, and you're wearing your mask and you're doing whatever you're doing and you're staying home, you're afraid to go out the door or outside, that's not good. That's terrible. Because no matter what, we're all appointed once to die. We're all appointed for death. You know? So there's nothing to fear, man. Because one way or another, our destiny is our destiny. We can't avoid that. So you have to live life to the fullest now with the right way. And stop being afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. God made us in his image. He didn't make us to wear masks. The people that feel safe to do it, fine. But the people that don't want to do it, leave them be. Let them be. Like, I'm one that I don't want to wear a mask and I won't wear a mask. I'm not. God made me in his image. He didn't tell me to hide my face. All right? So I'm going to keep sticking with God and I'm going to keep praying. And I'm going to do what God's telling me to do in his word. That's it. I respect the laws of the land. But not when it comes before God's laws. God's laws is number one to me. God is number one to me. And I'm going to do what he says first. All right? Just like Jesus. They wanted him to do what they wanted him to do. They wanted him to bow down to him and the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you know? And he didn't do it. He, he stood to the end with the word and the truth and his testimony of the, the Father, his Father. And he brought it to us. And he died for it. He died for us. He stuck to the end. That's why he says, those that endure to the end shall be saved what God said. We shouldn't have no fear. If God is for you, who's, who, who can be against you? It doesn't matter. So you think about all this, okay? Don't live in fear. Live your life. Take care of your kids, your grandkids, whatever you have to do. You do. But take God first and everything else will be added onto you. And that's that's what I wanted to tell you, you know? So God bless you guys and I'm going to go on with the Lord's Prayer. Okay? Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
and delivers from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for now and forever. Amen. And I want to say one more thing, that if you're covered by the blood of the Lamb and you follow God's word, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to fear. Because the day that God's going to take us off this earth, there's nothing anybody could do about it. As long as, as the longest that we're here is because he allows us to. We all have a, a purpose, like I said before. God has a plan for each and every one of us. Okay? If we believe and stick with him, and everything will be fine. Right on, people? So, have a blessed night. God bless you. I love you guys. Most of all, God loves you. Most of all, Jesus loves you. And I pray and hope still that you all come to his light. The salvation is for whoever accepts it. All right. God bless you, people. Love you. Have a wonderful, blessed night.